so for the turf toe taping, we've prepped all of our bits of tape. So essentially what we want to do initially is create two anchors. So we've got one anchor down along the big toe, and then the other anchor is further up around the midfoot. And that's basically where the long strips that are going to stabilize the joint, that's what they're going to anchor onto. So we'll just get going. So what we've done is we've used the 38 mil rigid tape, but for around the toe joint, because it's quite a small area, we've cut that in half. So we've got our first anchor down around the big toe, second one comes up along the midfoot, which will tend to be around the base of the first metatarsal here, because essentially it's this area there that we're trying to restrict the movement. So that's how much we've got initially. So now what we're doing, essentially we want this to be relatively neutral, so not flex too far down, not to flex too far up. Relatively neutral, fair bit of tension, and we whack that back onto our anchor point. Because it is a bigger area and most people, if they're running, there's a higher amount of load going through there. So I tend to do two strips of tape for someone who's a bit lighter and they're not doing as much. You can go with just one strip, but I prefer two. So again, relatively neutral, anchoring it down. And we can even see from that that there's a restriction happening through the joint there. Just to reinforce it, we'll go back over. And then we've got our final anchor piece that will come across. And there we go, that's our first met turf toe taping. So essentially that's going to act like an active sprint. So we still have enough movement there that we can propel when we're walking and running. It's just going to reduce how quickly and how much the force is going through there. There you go. Ready.